Hello and welcome to this quick look at a challenging Arrhenius question. So the first part of it is fairly straightforward where you have to complete the data in the table. I'm putting the Arrhenius equation and its logarithmic version from the data sheet at the bottom of the screen for reference. So to work out the missing value for natural log of rate, you simply use the natural log button and enter 0 0.0108. And for the 1 over t, you just take t value 850 and then 1 over that gives you the value that goes in here. So the next thing is to calculate the activation energy for the reaction without plotting a graph. So normally what we do is we take the logarithmic version of the Arrhenius equation and we'd uh, just have a look at it and link it over to y equals mx plus c. So y would be natural log of k, so the y-axis would be lin k, and uh, minus c a over rt would be your mx, and then lin a will be plus c. So this is the constant or the um, the y-intercept, and minus c a over, r, over rt will be changed into minus e, o, e a over r for the gradient, or m, and 1 over t for the x-coordinate. But it says to not plot a graph. So just having a think about the graph, first of all, obviously the x coordinate would be 1 over t, lin k would be the y coordinate, and the intercept between uh, the, the line you draw and the y axis would be the natural log of a. And like we said earlier, it's analogous to y equals mx plus c. So obviously your 1 over t values would be x values and your natural log of the rate would be the y values. And you could plot points because you've got two sets of um, coordinates. So taking the version of the logarithmic um, Arrhenius equation that they've given you in the question down here and just putting it up here, you can see that natural log of rate is y minus e over r is m, 1 over t still is x, and the constant is c. So if we take one set of coordinates, we can do one point, and another set of coordinates will give us the other point. And that would allow us to have drawn a line. But without the graph, we can still do it, because the difference in 1 over t values is dx, and the difference in the rate values is dy. So therefore, Ea over R can be calculated, or minus Ea over R. So if we put the numbers in, you subtract 1.59 from minus 4.53, which are these two here. And on the bottom of the expression, it's the difference between these two here. So that gives you minus 6.12 over 2.5 times 10 to the minus 4, which is 24,480. Now, minus 24,480 is the gradient. So that's your minus Ea over R. We want to isolate Ea. So to do that, you multiply minus 24,480 times 8.31, which is the value that you're given here. So that gives us this large number here, but it's in terms of joules per mole. So you need to change it to kilojoules per mole by multiplying it up by, sorry, dividing it, I should say, by a thousand. So that gives us the um, activation energy here. Remember, of course, the activation energy is always a positive value because activation energy is based on the minimum energy required to start a reaction by breaking bonds by homolytic fission. Okay, thank you for listening. Hopefully this has been a useful look at a tricky one. Until next time, see you soon.